Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy new release day. We're starting the day off with 2019 Inception Baseball. We're doing all 16 boxes. This is pick your team number one. And a big thank you to all of these folks for getting into it. Right here on the 20th. There we go. Mike Thomas with that last spot mojo Tigers. And there's everyone else. Double last spot mojo. Mike Thomas got the Mariners as well. We got plenty in the store, so check it out. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Pick your team. I think pick your team two is already down to two teams left. So we see eight boxes right over here, eight boxes right over there. Good luck, everyone. I like the artwork on Topps Inception Baseball. We're looking at one autograph or autograph relic card per box. Seven cards per box right there. Good luck. Bruce, what's going on? Oh, he's, he's got the Astros all the way through seven. Are you, are you looking for uh, anyone in particular? SNR, read the item description. It'll give you all the information that you've been asking in the chat. Read that first. If it's not clear, then let me know. All right, there's Steven Duger for the Giants. That will go to Lee. We got Justin Verlander. Right here, and the rest of these should be base cards right here. Nice. I like the geometric patterns and the watercolor right there. Nice. And behind Chris Shaw is our hit. It's going to be two-color patch and autograph Danny Jansen for the Blue Jays. 18 out of 199. 18 out of 199. Who's got the Blue Jays? Steven Rudnicki with the Blue Jays. Nice. There you go, nice. Next one. Nice, so Bruce, who's got the Astro, that's Moss 188. He's looking for Kyle Tuckers, maybe some Bregmans. Good luck. So these green parallels are not numbered. But these ones are numbered. They're Steven Duger for the Giants, 68 out of 99. That is Oppo Joe Mojo. Who, who went with the Giants? Lee did. Lee Day. All right. Aaron Nola. And... The hit is going to be Brandon Lowe for the Rays. 146 out of 200. Rookie auto for the Rays, Jerry Bennington. Next box. Freddie Freeman, green. 
And there's Brandon Lowe again, 80 out of 150. Maybe these smaller ones can go into the 75 point. Hang on a second. And we got Silver Ink. It's Chris Shaw. Three out of 99. Nice Chris Shaw Silver Ink autograph. And that goes to Lee and the Giants. You guys read the item description it says nothing about vet base not shipping so everything ships ladies and gentlemen item description has all of your details boys one day i'm going to put no card ship in a break and see what happens you'll be like wait one day i'm going to hide break credit codes inside the item description that's probably more effective 33 out of 75 max scherzer That goes to the Nationals, Liam with the Nats. There's Jake Bauer, Indians. <laughs> A bad trend. <laughs> All right. Cedric Mullins, rookie auto, 55 out of 200. O's. Joe Babcock with the Orioles. So orange team's hitting. That toppler wanted to hit the bell. Next box, pick your team one. There's Bryce Harper, still Nationals edition in this set. There's Kershaw, I think starting the season on the DL. Out of 150 for my Dodgers. He's got my Dodgers in this one. Lee has the, oh, Lee has rivalry mojo. He has the Dodgers and the Giants. And behind Jan Carlos Stanton is Sandy Alcantara, 47 out of 200 for the Marlins. That'll go to Jeremy Tillman. Next one. Book, maybe? There are books in this thing. No, no book. Just psyching myself out. All right, there's Mitch Hanniger, the Mariners. Mariners won last night in Japan. I like the new Marlins logo, John. I think it looks sharp. There's Mike Trout, the $430 million man. All right, and then we've got, nice, another Chris Shaw. This time, Relic and Autograph, 16 out of 99.
upstairs fine. Thank you. Thanks. Another giant for Lee. And another box. Chase, relax. We got we got plenty of boxes to go. You can start worrying right around here when we get to around these boxes. But for now, you got play to the whistle. There's Ramon Loreno. And Jake Bowers, 75 for the Tribe. I think Jake Bowers could be a sneaky, fancy baseball pick, ladies and gentlemen. Behind Luis Urias is Kyle Wright for the Braves. Nice. This could be a great pickup for the Braves, too. Great up-and-comer. 72 out of 99. Paul Cool Whit with the Bravos. Am I getting up? I, I don't need to get up at 2.30 a.m. Pacific Time SNR. I'm already up around that time. Although I don't think I'd be up until the, uh, until the end of the game, though. Jake Bowers, good pickup for fantasy. I like Kyle, Kyle Wright. Could be an emerging young pitcher. I think a lot of Braves fans are worried about, oh, the Braves haven't made moves in the offseason, but I think they're really they're really confident in their, in their uh, young talent coming up the ranks over the next couple of years. There's Jacob Nix. Adalas Garcia. And the rest. And we've got uh, Fran Mil Reyes for the Padres. 32 out of 200. For the Friars, Todd with the Friars. <laughs> TJ saying Jake Bauer sounds like a bad soap opera name. There you go. There's your answer, SNR. I think the Padres are going to be good this season. There'll be some growing pains, but they've got a lot of interesting young talent coming up the ranks. I don't think they're going to win the division, but I think they'll be better than some people think. There's Charlie Blackman. That pitching, though, they have, they have no starting pitching. That's that's going to be a problem for them. There's Justice Sheffield, Mariners edition. And the Mariner, his brother, is in the Dodgers organization. And behind Luis Severino is Patch Auto, Ronald Acuna Jr. Nice. 12 out of 199. That is nice. That goes to Paul Whitlock and the Braves. Yes, sir, John, that is correct. Green are parallels, but they are they are not serial numbers, no. All right. Next one. There's Miguel Andujar. And there's Justin Verlander, 18 out of 99 pink for Bruce and the Strohs. Daniel Trevino, what's going on? I think the White Sox made a good move with Eloy Jimenez. Yeah, they, I think, I thought I saw some news. What were the details on that? They extended him or something like that, right? All right, behind Steven Duger is another patch auto for the Blue Jays, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. 
Yuli's brother, 52 out of 75, going to Steve Rudnicki and the Blue Jays. SNR, are you going to watch any Oklahoma City Dodgers games this year? Yes. Probably. Maybe one or two, if I catch it on minor league baseball TV or something like that. Rich says it's an insane contract. Daniel, six years, 60 million? Wow, he could hit 85 million with incentives? We saw that with, uh, I think, Scott Kingery. Right, he signed a as a young player. He signed a really big deal. So I don't know. Maybe maybe some of the younger players are taking more upfront money now instead of waiting for free agency later. I'm not sure. It's Michael Kopech out of 150. Garrett Cole for the Astros. Did Carlos Santana really smash a TV because his teammates were playing Fortnite? I guess I guess it's context. If if they were doing it during a team meeting, then you know, you shouldn't be doing that. But if it was if this was like after a game <laughs> You're just relaxing, that's not a big deal. There's Patrick Wisdom. Thirty one out of fifty. That's a nice parallel. Where's the wisdom going? Adam Wilson with the wisdom, with the knowledge. Nice. There you go, Adam. Wait, his teammates didn't want to play Fortnite with him, Chase, according to Chase? So then he was just like, <laughs> he got all butthurt and he was like, I'm going to smash a TV. There's Ray Black. And Luis Severino, 8 out of 50. One for the Yankees, Mary with the Yanks. And behind Aaron Judge is another Chris Shaw, 70 out of 75. We must have gotten the Giants case. Some Oppo Joe Mojo going to Lee. Lee Day with the Giants. He also has the Dodgers, too. He's got rivalry mojo. All right, four boxes to go. SNR hearing rumblings that Craig Kimbrell might be heading to L.A. I, I, I wouldn't mind that. But doesn't Kimbrell want like a a huge contract? I'm not sure if the Dodgers are willing to pay that. Or he's looking for a lot of years, I think. There's Corey Seager. For the Dodgers, he'll be starting the season. There's Shaw again to 25 this time. And behind David Fletcher is going to be Colby Allard. 28 out of 99 for the Bravos. Paul with that one. Wait, uh, Michael H., you're saying 43 can top 77? For who? For Kimbrell? I don't think the Dodgers are going to go with Keichel, though, SNR. I don't think they would rather have, I think, I don't think that's the case. They've got so much pitching depth. they got Julio Urias, Ross Stripling, a lot of guys. So I don't think Kershaw hitting the DL is going to make them go with Keuchel. At least that wouldn't be the reason why. If they just wanted to get him just to get him, then that's a different story. But There's Daniel Ponce de Leon, 65 out of 75. Kimball to the Brewers could be scary, Jeremy Anderson. Josh Hader. 
Craig Kimbrell. This is for Adam Wilson and the Redbirds. Who are the redemptions? There's a redemption on the bottom here. Who are the redemptions here? SNR says Urias should be in double A. He's trash. SNR clearly doesn't watch baseball. All right. The redemption is Juan Soto. Nice. Base rookie and emerging star autograph red parallel, which may be out of 15. On a, maybe out of 75, maybe. Nice Juan Soto for the Nationals. That'll go to Liam Mahoney and the Nats. Do I not have regular top loaders here? Oh, there they are. All right. <laughs> Well, you just you just sound silly, SNR. You sound like you don't know what you're talking about. Doesn't watch a lot of baseball apparently. All right. Chris Davis. Jake Bowers. Oh, the Eloy contract, Michael Hinkle is saying, is 43. Not to, but could, with incentives, could go up to 77 or something like that. All right, all right. Could be pretty great. There's Jake Bowers to 99 for the Tribe. Matt Buckler with the Indians. And behind Ben Benintendi, another patch auto going to... Going to the Cardinals, Dakota Hudson, 132 out of 199. That's for Adam Wilson and the Cardinals. Michael Hinkle, is Optic done once it's full? Then yes, we couldn't, couldn't really do it any earlier. It has to sell out. All right, and the last box, pick your team one. Cornerstone's coming up. There's Jacob deGrom. Pablo Lopez to 150 for the Marlins. <laughs> SNR, ain't no one got time for that. Ain't no one got time for blaster box breaks. Oh, oh, oh! Are you asking if I'm getting if getting more? Um, no, probably not. I mean, maybe. I wouldn't hold my breath though. We always try to look out for stuff like that. All right, and last is Tuki Toussaint, who could be a really interesting addition to the Braves rotation this year. He could be a big player this year. That goes to Paul Whitlock and the Braves. Nice one, Paul. There you go. Nice. And a nice finish to the break, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com. It's good to talk about baseball and good to bust open some baseball. So keep getting your teams on Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com. And we'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.